Hey everyone, good morning and welcome back to Everyday EV. So it's currently about 7 a.m. here in Cleveland on Valentine's Day and the temperature is about 19 degrees with the wind chill about 10 degrees. So if you're wondering why we're out here right now, well, it's for science. We finally got our uh, Chevy Bolt EV back from the dealership. And if you remember a few weeks ago, we were struggling with some DC fast charging issues. Well, they were able to do some type of software update or some type of recalibration of the charging system. So we are going to go to the only charge point station here in the Cleveland area, get some data and see how this car charges in this kind of temperature. So let's get started. Before we head to Lakewood, Ohio to that charging station, I just wanted to show you guys, we did a cold soak of the battery pack last night. So I don't have an exact uh, temperature readout. Sorry for the beeping. Okay, it's gonna turn off. <laughs> um, so you can see that we're currently sitting at about 42% battery at about 61% and the battery is pretty cold. You can see that the regen meter isn't even all the way there to accept 100% regen until the battery pack heats up. So we're gonna head to Lakewood, which is about 13 miles and hopefully by then it warms up a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, so we just arrived at the charge point location here in Lakewood, Ohio. We currently have uh, about like 26, 27%, which is perfect to do this cold weather test. And you can see that the battery pack says that it's heated up right now, but we'll plug in and see. So I just wanted to show you guys this. We are currently looking at an hour and 20 minutes until we hit 80%. We're pulling about 33 kilowatts, which is actually better than what we were seeing at that EA station a few weeks ago. And we're starting at 28%. So the last issue we had with the EA charger from the previous video, we thought that there was something wrong with the software update. Um, and I still personally think that there is something wrong with the software update. However, when I posted this in a Chevy Bolt forum, a lot of people told us it's because we had the heat on or the battery pack wasn't uh, um, warm enough or whatever. So um, we currently have the heat set to 82 and we're pulling about 27 kilowatts. Um, I am going to let this run for about five minutes and then we're going to turn the heat off and do a test for five to ten minutes. It's about 23 degrees here, so we'll see how long we can run without the heat on, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've been here for about, what would you say, I don't know, it, 10, minutes? 10 minutes? <laughs> and it's already dropped. Uh, by an incredible amount where it went from 27 kilowatts to 16 kilowatts and the remaining charging time literally doubled here at this charging station uh i have no clue you look like you're very thrilled oh really <laughs> You did not look thrilled at all. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> they told us they fixed the uh, the uh, fast charge update, but I guess we'll turn all the heat and seats and steering wheel off and see what it does. See for what 10 happens. More minutes, yeah, 10, fifteen more minutes. We do know that the battery is preconditioning. Um, it's gurgling and popping, like you can hear the battery management system working. Um, but the thing is, is that the Bolt doesn't have a way to precondition the battery pack as you're driving to a charger like some other EVs have. So when you get to a charger, your battery pack is warm and, you know, charging at peak um, current. This doesn't have that. Uh, so I guess we'll uh, turn off the heat. Let's, I think we're wearing layers today. Let's get cold. <laughs> Elsa, baby. <No. laughs> Let it go. I'm, okay. <laughs> do we leave it set to 82 or do we change that? Oh, we just got to turn it off totally. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Time to... Turn up all <laughs> of the heat. No, I meant like <laughs> the whole system. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, it's... Nope, still the same. Still 17 kilowatts. Okay, so we turned off the heat. It is probably going to get pretty cold in here now. Um, we're still at 17 kilowatts, 16 kilowatts. 
This is so frustrating. Okay, if that tone of voice doesn't give you an idea of how frustrated we are, I don't know what would. Um, we have been here for about 10 minutes now and we are still sitting below 20 kilowatts. It's slowly going up based on this graph from charge point, but it's still definitely not as good as it should be. Battery management is still active. Uh, we can still hear it bubbling and gurgling um, and yeah, but it doesn't really honestly seem to be doing much to help this rate of charge. Um, so Tyler's frustrated. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But... I think it's the car. They said that they fixed it, but I don't even think they even paid attention to it, to be honest. Yeah, I, <laughs> I honestly do not think that they fixed this. Um, but we have video proof that it doesn't charge at the rate that they said it would. Um, and yes, I know winter time can uh, impact your charging rate, but we've been sitting here for almost 25 minutes and the car is not charging any faster. And now our time is doubled, literally. Yeah, it's <laughs> doubled again. <laughs> um, so we'll be here till 930 on a DC fast charger if we want to get to even 80%. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, it's frustrating to say the least. Um, but I think we learned our lesson. <laughs> Get a faster charging car next time. <laughs> when that actually does pull what yeah. it says it's going yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're going to check back in in about 10, 10, 15 more minutes. Uh, we finally just broke 20 kilowatts after nearly, no, it's going up and down. Nope. Anyways, we'll just, going down. We'll, just, <laughs> we'll just check back in in about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, guys, just an update. It's been about... 20 minutes since uh, the last check-in and we are finally seeing progress after sitting here for 40 plus minutes. Uh, let me show you guys. Okay, so we're getting somewhere if you want to consider it that. Um, we are currently sitting at about 34, 35 kilowatts when before it was sitting about 20 kilowatts. Uh, so we definitely are seeing an increase in charging rate. Uh, I think it's because the battery pack is now finally warmed up but it took about 40 minutes to do that uh, here at this charging station. Um, we still are not seeing the max kilowatts that this vehicle can take. It can take about 50 kilowatts at max charge. Um, so I'm not exactly sure if we are even going to get close to that, but we'll see for science, right? For science? For science. Say it with enthusiasm. <laughs> for science. Science. <laughs> This is what we do on Valentine's Day. We charge our electric cars. <laughs> <laughs> so just another update. It's been about 20 minutes again since we checked in and we're still hovering around 36 to 37 kilowatts. I uh, definitely think this is the max that we're going to see. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's going to get any higher than that. So we are currently sitting at about 65% state of charge on our battery pack. Uh, actually, it just went up to 38. I stand corrected. Um, but I don't think that we're going to see... Oh, anything better than this 34 33 oh now it's really dropping <laughs> it's going down <laughs> my boom. okay chevy bolts <laughs> um we spoke too soon we... it just really dropped <laughs> so oh, there it goes there it goes <laughs> I think that maybe we hit our charging curve and now oh, it went down. <laughs> and it now went down. it's dropping. Uh, okay. Well, the car is stating that we still have about 25 minutes to 80%. I'm not really sure if we are going to hold out that long because it is getting cold here in this vehicle without the heat on. But the one thing that besides the sudden drop off that we just had. <laughs> um, besides that, the one thing that I actually did want to say that we confirmed kind of is that the battery pack or the vehicle isn't necessarily like broken. It just takes forever for the battery pack to heat up when it's been cold overnight without any other preconditioning. Uh, it took about 40 minutes. Um, so what do you say, 10 more minutes? Maybe, the but it's window. not even supposed to the update was not even supposed to make it take that long to warm the battery pack up. But, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> it was not. It was not. But we'll check back in in five minutes and we'll do a quick recap of what we learned. So see you guys in five minutes. Okay, so we are at 70% and we are going to stop the charge and unplug because the car is freezing and we're going to do a quick recap. Um, you can see that it has dropped down to 22.8% and I really think that's because of the charging curve of the battery pack. Um, but we're uh, definitely not impressed with this cold weather uh, charging. It's actually pretty disappointing. So it took about an hour and 10 minutes worth of charging to get to 70% starting at a 28% start state of charge. So a quick recap, uh, we started probably around like 15 to 20 kilowatts um, and it really stayed there for about 30 to 40 minutes mm -hmm. before the battery pack really started heating up. And what we mean by heating up is that it increased to about 25 kilowatts. <laughs> And then eventually it hit a peak rate of 38 kilowatts. Uh, and that was after about 50 minutes to an hour. Uh, so it definitely took a bit for it to get up there. Um, we started with a cold battery pack. We let it soak overnight. So mm -hmm. the battery pack was cold. Uh, exterior temperatures were between 15 degrees and 20 degrees with a minus or well, less than 10 degree wind chill. So it was a pretty cold battery. Super cold. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts? Hmm. Honestly, I was super disappointed. Um, because it like shot up to 38, like after an hour of us sitting here with the heat off and our seats on, it took an hour and then within like five minutes, it just shot back down. Hmm. So it's like, it only stayed up for like five to eight minutes at 38 kilowatts and then just shot down. So I'm just annoyed that it just took an hour to finally get it like up to temperature. Yeah. Like other cars can do it better. Yeah. And this update was supposed to help with that. And I feel like it never did. No. <laughs> I feel like it's terrible. Yeah, I I agree with Tyler. Um, we even had the heat off for about 40 minutes, which we mm -hmm. were advised that that would help increase the state of charge or, uh, you know, increase the charging uh, rate, um, which it did. Um, Briefly. Sorry, oh, someone's not happy. Sorry for all the exterior <laughs> noise. Uh, this charging location is honestly not in the best spot. <laughs> it's ice hockey time for little kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just a little disappointing. Um, but I'm happy we have the data, and um, pretty pretty happy with um, with the fact that we can report on this. But summer charging for the Bolt is honestly better. Um, mm -hmm. The one thing I actually do want to mention is that the vehicle has no way of uh, activating battery battery management. Um, it does it automatically on its own. You can't go into uh, the touchscreen or anything and turn it on uh, manually, um, or it doesn't do anything when you're routing to a charging station like other EVs have. Um, so maybe future GM EVs will have that, but this does not have that. So take note, GM. Yes, <laughs> this yes. This would be a great thing to have. Yeah. Especially in the wintertime. The summertime, I don't think we really have a problem because we usually see 55 or above sometimes. Yeah. But yeah. wintertime is where it counts. Yes. Like we, we need the same charging rate. Yeah. <laughs> as Ex we do in the summer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So anyways, guys, you know, we did prove that the, the battery just takes a bit to heat up. And the last time, <laughs> okay, takes an hour, <laughs> takes not, an hour. not just a bit, an hour to heat up. So we learned that. So yay, science. Yay. Now we get to go have coffee and food. Yes. Yes. And he's not impressed because it's Valentine's Day <laughs> and I made him sit at a charging station for an hour. <laughs> at least there's food afterwards. Yes. Yes, That's exactly. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video i really appreciate the support make sure you like and share with your friends and if you haven't yet please consider subscribing to everyday ev there's going to be a lot of new electric vehicle content coming out and i appreciate the support and uh, definitely look forward to producing more videos for you guys do you want to say anything during the outro i don't know what to say anyways <laughs> tyler says smash that subscribe button <laughs> smash it right now <laughs> thank you guys hope you guys are staying safe taking care and make everyday electrifying see you in the next one <laughs>